Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. So last time we finished up chapter 10. We met with the Justice Minister, right? We saved his life. And now we're going to do chapter 11. And I guess we're going to deal with the kidnappers, right? We're going to get more info from them, I suppose. And we're very close to finishing this game. This game has 18 chapters, I think, right? So a little bit more and we're done with this. So let's continue. Chapter 11. 12, 10 a.m. The Justice Minister's daughter has been abducted. The kidnappers demand the execution of Death Row Prisoner, Death Row Prisoner Jowd to be carried out tonight. Lynn says that execution is a mistake and I believe her, and so I'm paying the kidnappers hideout a visit to see what I can find out about the abduction. Yeah, it's her because yeah, she has that. What do you call it again? <laughs> Seductress? Oh, it's this guy. Okay, it's actually both of them. Your instinct was right, beauty, my dear. They had the restaurant surrounded. It took me forever to shake them, and now my poor bike is ready for the scrap head. Next time, maybe you should make it a tricycle so you don't hurt yourself. Ouch, that hurts, beauty, but that's okay. That's what I love about you. What is inside that thing, though? Okay. Be a little more gentle with her valuable hostage, please. Wait, what? Wait, the hostage is actually there? Yes, yes. Always keep a smile on the lady's face, right, my dear? And there, see that, beauty? Now there's a smile blooming on your face, too. Yes, a weary smile. Yeah, how about you open it, though? She cannot breathe anymore if she's actually there. I'm going out for a breathe or a breath of fresh air. You're on guard, Judy. Alright, I'll dream of you until you return. Why don't you open the trunk for our guest? I will, beauty. I was just taking a little breather. All right, little lady, let me open the trunk for you. Wait, you fell asleep? It looks like the justice minister's daughter really has been kidnapped. And something else is bothering me too. I don't think I've ever been to this room before. But something about it is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. Yes, I've seen something like this before. We've seen this. This is the bird or the pigeon doctor, whatever his name is, right? Yeah, because there's a present in the middle. We got the ball, right? Pretty much the same. So we're going to start from here. Taking something precious to manipulate others. So that's what kidnapping is. The dirty tricks those without the powers of the dead come up with. However, if I take that precious thing back, their power vanishes, doesn't it? How do we even open that? Now then. Time to see how the justice minister's little girl is doing. Before this guy wakes up from his dream of beauty. Okay, where are we? Here. Burn that. Swing. I guess this one, right? Okay, there. So now what do we do? Spin Master. Okay, the ball is moving. Okay, here I guess, right? The door. 
Okay, we can move though. There we go. Okay, where's the next one? Here. Shade? Uh, okay, darn. I can reach my destination from here. Okay, this one we can reach the balance toy. This one is a party popper cake box. We got two party poppers here. Okay, now what? Just my imagination. Just my imagination. That's all he has to say? What an amazing, simple fellow. This room, on the other hand, is starting to look amazingly festive. The question is, how can I use it to my advantage? Maybe we can use this one. When we spin it, it's going to go up, right? How about this one? Okay, now we have... No one. Just my imagination yet again. If he was any more laid back, he'd fall right off that crate. But look at that streamer go spinning around and round. Now, how can I make use of that? So... I mean, we need, I guess we need to go back there first, though. Right? Make it spin faster? What happens? Okay, we're burning now. Okay, wait, do we have the candle with the doll there? Okay, okay. Very nice. We got the ball here. This one I think we need to go yeah, use it now so it goes up. And then that thing is gonna burn. Nice, we can move to it now. Just my imagination. Always your imagination, sir. We made it. Oh, it's Camilla. What in the. I thought it was the other girl, right? The daughter. What's going on here? This little lady is. It is Camilla. Is this little lady really a daughter of the Justice Minister? Of course not. Now he wakes up. That was pretty, pretty normal, yes. What's with the fun book and juice? Like I always said, I always keep a smile on the lady's face. I wanted to treat our guest well. Well, you didn't do anything, man. You were just sleeping there. How about treating me well? 
I'd like some bread and milk, please. At your service, my dear. Be back in a flash. Uh, hey, mister. Yes, cute little lady. More juice, perhaps? All you have to do is ask. Have I been... Kidnapped? Don't cry, little dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. The surroundings are miserable and filthy, I know, but we just ask for a little patience. Don't say those awful things about this house. Hmm? This house is where I used to live. Ooh. What? I apologize, little lady. I'm the one who's miserable and filthy. Forgive me. What's the meaning of this beauty? Why here at this girl's old house? Don't ask me. I was the... It was the other party in our deal. Oh, I see. It's been empty for five years and apparently nobody ever comes here. But uh, never mind that. What about my bread and milk? Oh, of course. Now, you be a good girl while I'm gone. You just read your book and drink your juice, little lady. I want to go home. Not quite yet. This dilapidated place was Camilla's old house? What's going on here? Yeah, I'm thinking that Camilla is... I, I did say that maybe Camilla is Detective Jode's daughter, right? And it looks like it's Detective Jode's daughter, really, right? Because, yeah, they want the, the detective to be executed, right? And now, they have his uh, the daughter, or the, yeah, they're saying they're the daughter, right? So maybe it is, really. What in the world? Why does little lady have a core on of the dead? When I help her out at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. So that must mean she must have died sometime after that. And it also means somebody else must have saved her. What? I'd better ask her what happened. Maybe a missile helped her. Who's there? Oh, wait a minute. Is that you, Missile? Missile? I'm sorry. I'm not Missile. My name is Sizzle. Sizzle? My name is Camilla. Camilla, so it is her. I knew it. What happened to me? What is this place? I can hardly tell the poor little thing. This is the land of the dead. The land of the dead? Does that mean I'm dead? Darn, I forget there are no secrets in the ghost world. You can relax, you're not dead. But this isn't the first time you've been here, apparently. Really? I don't remember. Oh, wait a minute, maybe I do remember, sort of. You do? It looks like she doesn't remember being saved very well. So, there's some other dead person out there with special powers, eh? Anyway, I don't want to press her if she doesn't remember dying. So, do you mind if I ask you a few questions about something else? Sure, go ahead, sissy. What? Oh, sissy. Okay. <laughs> I was like, sissy. Maybe she's uh saying Lynn because yes, kind of like sister, right? Sissy. <laughs> Sizzle, sissy. Kidnapping. Lynn asked me to do something for her tonight. I know about that part. She asked you to go to the chicken kitchen on Dead and Drive, right? Yeah, but I never got there. Now, I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. I never should have gone through that park. What park? Temsic Park. It's a shortcut to Dead End Drive. Is that where the kidnappers grabbed you? Yeah, Lin always said. I don't like that park. Scary things happen here. Temsic Park. What am I going to do? Lin's going to be mad. She is? How come? Because I left it there. 
the music box in the park. Oh, she left the music box. That's right, the music box. Okay, let's check uh, the dialogue. The music box was hidden in the apartment. I finally found it with a little bit of luck and courage. I am the one who helped you, little miss. Guess where it was? Hmm, I don't know where. I'll pretend I don't know. You know, you don't have to humor me. Oops. So what happened to the music box? I hid it in the bushes at the park just before it happened. Just before? Oh, just before you were kidnapped, huh? I didn't want a bad man to take it, so I hid it. I bet it's still there in the park. So you did well. So the music box is in the park. I better Lin. I better let Lin know about Camilla. So this is your old house. Yep, this is where we lived until five years ago. But now I live with Lin and Miss Sile. Lin is like your big sister to you, isn't she? Yep, she's a detective, you know. She's a hero. She is, huh? By the way, how about your father? Is he the justice minister? My father is gone. Gone? Maybe he passed away. No, it's a detective. No, that's not it. My dad. He's going to die and it's all because of me. I was correct. What? What do you mean because of me? Why would you say that? It's called an execution. My dad is a detective. No way. Don't tell me your father is Detective Jowd. That's right. What in the world? Five years ago, something really bad happened. Like a scary dream, but it wasn't a dream. Five years ago? The murder case. Incident five years ago. It was my mom's or it was mom's birthday that day. My mom and dad were working and I was home by myself. And then I had an idea. I was going to surprise my mom. I set up the contraption. Why is it dark? Wait, was she the one who set up set this up then, right? So the the room we saw at the bottom was the same, right? So did she also make that? Move, woman. She's not even moving. She's waiting to get shot. Yeah, that's basically what happened, right? That's basically the same, I mean. On uh, when we did the trap on what chapter was it? Chapter 4 or chapter 3? I still can't believe it happened. It wasn't supposed to work like that. I know that contraption and I know how it was or how it was supposed to work. Party poppers and a cake, a birthday message. But yeah, uh, who was it? Uh, Jowd who said that do not believe every memories. But yeah, we're not gonna believe. Maybe she's at this. Uh, her memories of this were kind of maybe kind of different, right? My dad told me not to tell anybody. Just leave it to me, he said. My dad wanted to be executed. He asked him for it, but I wanted to tell everybody it was my fault. My dad said what I saw was a bad dream. He told me to forget it. This is all so unbelievably tragic. But yeah, maybe she's maybe she's just remembering it differently, right? I can't believe it. This little lady is Detective Jowd's daughter. I just can't tell her. I can't tell her why she was kidnapped. Why was I kidnapped? I want to know. Oops. Yeah, she heard that though. There, there are no secrets in the ghost world. Maybe you'd better stop talking. It's too dangerous. Sissy. You're not going to talk to me anymore? Can you stop calling him Sissy? I'm thinking whenever she says Sissy, I'm thinking about Lin. 
I think we'd better get you out of here first. We can talk more after that. Okay, but... I'm going to rescue you now. So you just hold on a little longer, alright? Okay, bud. We'll talk later, right? Don't forget. You promise, sissy. Phone book. Uh, what took you so long? I traveled the entire town in search of the finest bread and milk for you, my dear. But it's late, and all the shops are closed. We're leaving this place right now. What? But he's not here yet. So who's he? If we couldn't meet at the restaurant, weren't we supposed to meet here? Oh, I guess a sizzle. Yes, and he's the one who chose this location. I don't like this one one bit. We have to run around doing all this extra work for all the sake of his deal? Be quiet. It can't be helped. This place is too dangerous. I told you my sixth sense is very strong. So she does really have a sixth sense. Detective Zhao has a sixth sense, right? Alright, as you wish, beauty. I feel it. I sense something here in the room. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? Is she talking to me? I can sense your presence, you know. The next time I'll, I sense you, this child will die. Remember that. That is scary. Alright, we're leaving. Pardon me, little lady? No way he just closed it up, man. She's still drinking her juice. Minute, she left the book though. Can we check the book? Whatever she was reading there? All of a sudden, I'm left behind alone. Alone in a room that stole that little lady smile away five years ago. That little lady is gone now, leaving me with only a few new facts. A few very heavy, very sad facts. Does Lin know about all of this? One other thing stands out in my mind. I can sense your presence. This some of that kidnapper's final words. Do those two know? Do the kidnappers know about the powers of the dead? Okay, so yes, we finished chapter 11. Quite short chapter, right? But we quite learned a lot, I suppose. Or pretty much a confirmation, I suppose, right? Because I was thinking that, yeah, maybe Camilla is Detective Jout's daughter. She is, right? And maybe Camilla's memories is maybe kind of distorted. Maybe she thinks she was at fault, but in reality, she was not, right? Maybe it was Sizzle? Right? Maybe it was Sizzle. Yeah, I was thinking it's Sizzle, man. Because Sizzle, or the Sizzle, the one we're using, the character right now, he doesn't remember his memories, right? And Detective Jowd... What is Detective Jowd has a portrait of him, right? Maybe because... Sizzle killed his wife and he doesn't want to forget it, right? Was He doesn't want to forget who killed his wife, right? So that's why he has a portrait of him. So, maybe. But yeah, at least we got one right, though. That Camilla is Detective Chow's daughter. The music box is in the park. And we will have to see. What happens in the next episode? We're going to do chapter 12. So I'll just see you then, guys. Bye-bye.